So this is the little guy we're working on today. It's a little chippy. I've had him in my freezer for a while. I decided to work on him today. He had a bit of rigor, so I so I decided to stretch him out a little. Hopefully we'll make um dissecting him a bit easier. But yeah, he overall has like no fractures anywhere, so I'm not really sure how he died. Um, could be something internal. Looks like he has some old wounds, maybe from a cat. Nothing that's been, like, open for very long. Um, like, it's already healed, rather, I should say. But, uh, yeah, maybe it was just old age, maybe he got into poison, I'm not too sure, but, uh, I always like to think about how they might have passed away and feel around for any cuts or uh, injuries just to see what might have happened or what I can make use of with the mount. And this is his mount. <laughs> so it's going to be about the same size as you can see as if he's like chubbed up. It'll be the right size. Um, I can always sand him down if he's going to be too big, but gave him some eyes. Might be too big in hindsight, but uh, we'll see what happens. Probably make them very wide open. <laughs> he's a little lopsided, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, check in when we're done. Well, here he is, in all his chipmunk glory. I have finished him. Um, can't remember when the last video I took was, but uh, he is done now. This is probably the most complete hide that I have made, or that I've done, rather. He's got his eyelids intact. He's got his nose intact. And his chin and lippies and his whiskers and his ears. He does have a couple minor holes, but nothing that some sewing can't fix. So we are going to try something interesting with him. It's going to be an egg yolk tan. I thought it could be a good thing to do. Um, some people have said that anything smaller than a squirrel, or up to the size of a squirrel, you can uh, do an egg yolk tan and it will work. So I'm going to try that. I'm not showing the carcass because I don't think YouTube or Facebook will like that very much. So I won't do that, but I do have a picture of them both side by side. So I'm going to do that now, that tan. So I put all the yolk all over the skin areas and I left the fur areas dry because if you get the yolk on it, it will get kind of crunchy and hard to rinse out. So now I put a damp paper towel over this for 24 hours. Okay, so... I learned that the egg yolk, I think, is purely for dry tanning. So like when you want it to just be completely dry and mummified, which is not what I want to do with this since I'm going to mount it. I uh, So I'm hydrating it and going to wash it off. <laughs> So basically undoing what I did, but who knows, maybe the egg yolk did something in the process. So uh, I'll tune back in when I have that washed up. So I got it rinsed and dried off, and I also dipped it, or uh, ran it through a bit of isopropyl alcohol to uh, kind of get all the heebie-jeebies out of it. I'm still going to wash my hands after, of course, but uh, that just helps for the process to get rid of some of the any leftover bacteria. So now I am going to 
work with this and uh, put it on this guy. I'm going to have to cut these legs down, I think, because of uh, I still have the long leg bones in here. So I will do that, and after I put the skin on, I will show you guys. Okay, so it was a very tight squeeze, <laughs> but it's on. And now I'm going to sew him up hoping that I can get a nice snug fit that won't rip or tear. So I'll tune in after that. Well, it's been a day since I'd done him because I was really busy yesterday. But here he is in all his pinned glory. He's dried a little bit at the mouth. It looked better yesterday, but uh, yeah, there he is. He's looking pretty good. He's got his tail. Tried to make it as natural as I could. Um, Try to maintain the fluffiness there, but uh, yeah. So that's him. It's all done. And once he is like all dry in two weeks, I will come out with another video of what I'm going to do with him, I believe. And, um,. That should be really fun. So, yeah. There's a little guy, and uh, maybe you can help me name him. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this video. Bye!